shit, but it makes sense. Like, it's like, I'm depressed. Okay, cool, now you're depressed. But now you're gonna feel like you should just stay, remain depressed, and you should actually be like, I wanna be happy. So, I would just do what makes me happy. It's kind of how I think about, like, suspicion. If you're suspicious of someone, all you're gonna find is the bad. Yeah. And, like, if it does happen... Well, and like now, if you're suspicious about life, you're, everything about life will be bad. Yeah. And if you're suspicious about someone, then so like so just, so. it's like, hey, I'm suspicious of this person. It sucks that I feel that way. Let me just take some time on my own and do what makes me happy. And then come back to this person later. I feel like... Um... Yeah, I think it comes back to that thing about, like, perspective, right? If you could experience time in much longer, like, periods than we could, maybe we would notice, like, those small things you say might influence stuff maybe over time you can like some be able shit. to see you would be able to see that shit happen like you'd be able to make the connection clear if you could perceive time from a like if you're editing a video and you could zoom out yeah you just experience time like that I don't know. all right this is podcast number two motherfucker <laughs> Like my attitude towards podcasts is, I'll just pretend that the microphone isn't there. No, podcasts are like a window to another world. Like it helps you realize shit about yourself. And the types of podcasts that you like are the ones that you're trying to find like advice on, or like some shit like that. That's what I noticed. So what conspiracy it also can... are we talking about today, boys? But like even podcasts, like the one that I always listen to influences how I think because that's like something that like what this is guy his genius brain is this guy named David so he like if you listen to him you'll see how like I kind of like kind of radiate this energy he has but I realized some shit some flaws is that, that the has. is that the like visualize your different selves in a room guy no that's David Cho so that's on a Joe Rogan podcast what I realized from David Cho is that he's fucking crazy but his mental, his mental shit actually affected me because of how I think of myself now. Now, when I had that traumatic experience with rolling, I literally thought there was an evil version of me and I couldn't look at a mirror like for the last week because I kept thinking he was gonna come out of that mirror. Down. Yeah, that was like a different type of paranoia. So like literally telling myself like this isn't reality made it worse. So now I tell myself this is reality and I'm chilling. <laughs> it's like, it's right. weird. It's really bad, but now it's like me trying to come to terms. It was just because I didn't like what I thought about myself. And now I was, I'm trying to reject it, but now I'm in embracing it and like figuring my shit out. It's just how it is. As long as it's working out. It is. But fucking, now I know what anxiety is. Like before when people would say anxiety, I was like, you a bitch ass hoe. Like, you a bitch. So now I, now I know. Now I understand. Now I ain't saying shit. I mean, even before when people told me I had, I had anxiety, I didn't understand it, but I didn't think they were a bitch. I just thought, for myself, if I had anxiety, yeah. I'm a bitch. But yeah. see, that's the, like, mentality. That's how, that's why it's bad. Yeah, like, I understand what you mean, because I only understood what that feeling of anxiety was after a while. Because I, I realized I was feeling something, like, before I had to do presentations or something like that. But I always just like push myself through it because I thought that's just what you do. People say butterflies in your stomach and you just get over it. Yeah. But then after a while, like years later, I was like, wow, yeah. that's what anxiety is. Yeah, that's what we're it, it is a mentality. Holy crap. <laughs> it's like how people say like... But it's scary until you realize yeah, what anxiety yeah. is. That you, then you realize you're like, oh, that's anxiety. But if you keep telling yourself like you have anxiety, it becomes stronger and stronger. The same way people say I use acid to figure out my problems, it actually ends up the only way you'll figure out your problems when it can be a different way. You know what I mean? But you nothing, gotta have wrong, a balance nothing wrong with it. But that's how you can. That's how some people have bad trips and shit. And like, I don't know. It's just, it can't be like that. That's why it's the same as everything. You have to have a balance. Yeah. You can't have too much of one thing. You use something to figure some shit out. You gotta figure some other stuff out yeah. another way. You kind of let it come time. to you. Like, if you want to drink, it'll, it'll, it'll happen. But if you're drinking, I don't know why I'm talking about alcohol now. Because sometimes like, it's also just like, 
your mind will tell you don't yeah. do this yeah you know? and so you it's just, just listen, like, to, listen your mind. to that it's it's more like figuring out what you want really want and then what you really need. like oh i want to drink but then i know this this and this if you're drinking and you know this is not something you should be doing then don't drink it's that simple but a lot of life is simple we just overcomplicate it with a bunch of fucking shit but that's what kind of makes it fun but still fuck that shit Moments. Moment, moment. Moment, moment. Whoever's listening to this fucking podcast, y'all better not think we're weird. Because this shit, I'm pretty sure everyone fucking thinks this shit. And if you think that, if you don't think that, you're a fucking bitch. We're just not afraid to speak our mind. If Rick was here, he would drop the end right now. <laughs> <laughs> and and, and that, YouTube would be like, ha, fuck you. Yeah, for real. Right. I don't know, man. I'm too lazy to like edit beeps and stuff into my videos. It has a YouTube channel about it. Well, there's like three videos on there now. But it has like 30 views, so it's like. That's, yeah, that's better like than I thought for it would your be. First video. Yeah. Thought it would get like like 10 views oh, max yeah. with I, the amount yeah. of people I send it to. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> Did you get any subscribers? I have like eight subscribers. I subscribe. Hey, subscribe, bitch. Yeah, y'all better be subscribing. You see that button. I know you do. Did you know 50% of people who watch NK podcasts are not subscribed? Yeah, that's right. So, they got me, they got me in this big. That's a problem. What's that shit? Let's like fix like that. the songs. We got a. Uh-huh. Che, che got me on that beat. Like, like that, that shit. Beat. And then there's a. Uh, we we have in fact arrived at Target. Pulling up to Target. Casually at Target. We are in fact at Target. We should spend a whole podcast just laughing. Not like at anything in particular. Just, just laughing. <laughs> like that one dude who like goes, you know? <laughs> Like my man's just pulled some insane parking skills and we are at target was it a video podcast too just a little bit we're in the target now wearing masks because california can i actually put the camera but are you only keeping it no faces and shit? Yeah. Okay. sir that's how i like it no, you well, will not famous, get to see my face. When we're famous, face. then you can show our face. Exactly, that is the point. You see, on my regular videos, you'll get to see me wearing sunglasses of whatever kind I can find. <laughs> but podcasts, that's just our voices. You can put this on your podcast. It's like me going like... <laughs> we're not sponsored by Pepsi yet, but eventually... <laughs> Alright, we have just successfully beat the shit out of a mannequin. And we're walking past all of our fans. Oh. <laughs> get it? Get it, get it? Get it? Cause, cause, <laughs> cause of the, the those those things over there, those those were fans. <laughs> 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 look at this, look at this sexy man. Hey yo, what's down here? Let's <laughs> 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 <laughs>